<laughs> yeah, we have been just, we, we've been stuck in what seems to be a cooler, very wet pattern. Yeah, you know, we've really been wet since yeah. February. Um, we were looking at the data in the Weather Center and we've been above average in terms of our rainfall, our moisture, you can see here, uh, since February and right now we are 26.36 inches is our current rainfall total for the year. And that's all of our precipitation, including snowfall. Normally, we're only at about 19 inches right now. So we're well above average, and it's been that way for a while. And that's why all of this rain is causing some issues across the state. We've got this stalled out front, not going anywhere. Storms developing along the front and moisture staying south of that area, that boundary. And so as we add up all of the rainfall looking ahead to the weekend, Saturday, this is 2 p.m. on Saturday. We are looking at two inches across the Miami Valley for the entire week and isolated areas could see up to four or five inches on top of what we've already seen. In fact, we're under a flash flood watch that continues into this afternoon and evening. And uh, one area already seeing some flooding is Bakken's Ohio, just to north of Dayton. Several roads are closed and Chad sent us this photo on Facebook of some of the water there in the area. You can see high water signs. When you see that, you probably don't want to be driving on a roadway. He said in his rain gauge, he's gotten more than four inches of rain over the last uh, around 30, 36 ish hours.